Right guys, I've been busy for the last few days. I've been, um, a lot of you remember months and months and months ago I lost, um, well, over the last like six months I lost two of my hard drives. So, and I also lost launch box. Launch box is the front end to put all your games in one place so they're easier to find. And because of the nice picture quality, you can scroll through you think, oh, I fancy playing on that one. And I'm not going to show you how to set this up because I've automatically, I've got um, it on my channel already, how to set up Launchbox. Everything's individually categorised. You can have, um, you know, genre. Um, like I've, you can um, go to categories. You know, consoles, you can go to, like, first-person shooters. So, you know, you can pretty much tailor it to all you want. Um, so, um, um, there's all again, <laughs> platform right but what I'm doing I'm going to show you how to set up Xenia manager Xenia manager I've also got a video on how to use that with the Xbox 360 emulator called Xenia and like earlier I, was, I lost all my games individually because I tried to delete one thing and deleted a lot but luckily it was only me icons which I've got to put back on. So I've, I've put these back on. And so Xenia Manager. This is a front end just for your Xbox 360 games. Where you can actually um, set up per game configuration. So you can set your patches manage patches and it's a lot lot easier to control the patches for your games but I've got a separate video on that but I'm going to show you how to use this with Launchbox and it's really simple the way they've done it because trying to set up the emulator and trying to set up to run exactly the same time as Xenia Manager is a pain in the ass but on this, all you have to do, if you right click, go to create desktop shortcut, you can do that of all your games. So once you've done that, I made up a folder where I've got all my shortcuts in here. So once you've made up your shortcuts, it's simple to use Launchbox. You will have to install them one at a time. <laughs> so I'm going to go to Launchbox, Tools, Import, Manually Add Games. So here you have all the details you need to put in. So first of all, I'm going to go to Launching. So you want to find one of the shortcuts so one of these so you go to browse and more in here so all you have to do is actually click on the shortcut go to open then go to metadata and it probably won't find this to start with no so the whole name, um, was it just called 50 cent, right? So platform, if, if your platform's not here, you can just type it in, Xbox 360.
There you go, 50 Cent Blood on the Sands, Xbox 360. Click on that one, and it should fill in all the details for you. So then I'm gonna to go to Image, and Download Media. So we don't need an emulator for this, just checking. So you've got your launching and then you have right, developer, Xbox 360 platform and you go OK. And now you have your Xbox 360 down here. So then we go back to tools, import manually add game launching browse so this is dead to rights retribution open no so you have to type it in There you go. And it hasn't come up with Janeer here, so this is um, for third person, I've added different one, third person shooter. You can fill this in, but I'm not gonna because I can't remember offhand who makes it. And this is just a one player game. So you can fill in, you know, what you know if you want to. So now I'm going to go to images, download, download. Right, okay. Sometimes it does that, you click off, go back, and it'll be there. Oh. So it's pretty straightforward, guys, how to do it. Forza Horizon 2. Okay, I'll quickly show you that it does work. And when it does load, you just have to press F11 and get it to full screen. So I haven't figured that one out yet. So there you go, guys. That's how to use Xenia Manager with Launchbox. Cheers.